This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. Hello, everybody. Nexus is here with a battle I've been meaning to upload for a while, but work just would not allow it. Uh, this is round three of Elo's theme team tournaments. Uh, you'll pretty much guess the themes as soon as the battle starts. I mean, if you didn't already know what my theme was, well, where have you been under a rock for 10 years? 10,000 years, probably. So, uh, yeah, this is a match against Ace. Uh, his full name will be in the description and in the title of this video, in case you did not know. Yeah, but I wanted to upload this as a response to Elo's uh, tournament, tournament uh, video, but didn't get a chance. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys kind of enjoy this battle. It's a little bit weird, and I am very disappointed myself in the end of this battle. But, let's get this battle against Ace going! So, yeah. He's gonna lead off with Piccolo. What the fuck? A Frost Lass named Piccolo? I don't understand, but whatever. So, I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge straight away. Don't want to let this thing do much, because it will ruin my entire team strategy. So, yeah, Peabody putting in some work here. As he holds on the focus dash, but he gets a confused ray off, and I'm hoping I do not hit myself in the confusion at all, because I would suck a lot. Indeed, it would. So Majin Buu's gonna come in. Another Pokemon I'm questioning. There's a lot better choices. I mean, I thought that Peabody looks like Sock, and Atlas looks like, you know, Throw, so that's why I chose it. So I'm switching Atlas here to basically take whatever, uh, hoping for the Will-O-Wisp, but he goes for the Must Slap. What is going on? This is just so weird. So I'm going to get the bulk up off here, and it's going to raise my stats by one. Attack, defense, you know it. I was going to get the will o -S off. Really helps me, because I do get that guts boost. Um, so yeah, so far looking pretty good. I saw his team before, and the only thing I'm worried about is Jirachi, because Jirachi is such a pain in the ass for everyone. So he's going to confuse right here. Uh, not really getting any sort of special combinations, but I'm just like... I just hope I don't hit myself in the confusion pretty much all I'm hoping not to do, but I do, because uh, that's how Confuse Ray usually works, I'm surprised Sock didn't hit himself in the confusion. So yeah, uh, he's going to go for the Mud Slap again, now my accuracy is even lower, and I want to just kind of do some damage to this guy, even if it's a little bit. But I get out of my confusion, now I'm going to go for the payback here, just to see how much damage he's going to do. Uh, it does a chunk if it's physically defensive, I mean that did a pretty good bit. Uh, if it wasn't, then no, you're doing no good, Atlas, no good. So yeah, I'm going to rest off this damage here, which is awesome, because now I'm pretty much sitting pretty hefty, if not for those uh, minus accuracy boosts. Uh, negative, accu uh, negative one accuracy, or two accuracy, whatever it is now. So you can confuse for me. I don't want to stay in. So I'm going to send in GLaDOS to basically take whatever it wants to dish out at me, which is going to be a pain split, which is okay. Didn't really do all that much. I'm going to trick off my choice specs now. Which I kind of wish I didn't at this point, but I really need to get the team dead somehow, so I just thought Trick Ryan did the best way. So, no cake for you, and I'm going to get that Mud Slap again. And GLaDOS is doing some good stuff here. But then this thing comes in, and I'm like, no! Uh, hoping I get the negative special defense drop, because I need to wield this thing, because I have nothing for this Garachi at all. So I'm switching Atlas to take the uh, predicted Body Slam, or T-Wave. Uh, but he switches into Mushroom Boo, which is okay with me because he is tricked, so he can only do one thing. So he decides to lock himself in the Mud Slap, which is fine, really. Uh, I can take those all day and just do nothing. So he's going to switch right here in a way. He can't do anything. He switches into Krillin, which is his. Uh, what is the hell is this thing called? Behegem? Or something like that? Uh, so he's going for the Trick Room. I'm like, no! Trick Room! I hate you! Hate you so much! So yeah, uh, switching my space core. He loves space, you know. Yeah. So he's gonna get that special attack boost. He's gonna go for the T bolt here, which is going to do a lot to me, a lot. But I am gonna go for the body slam and get the parahex going. Uh, really was hoping just to basically be a bitch, but uh, I really could have used my Jirachi later on. But this thing is a big problem to me actually. I to have nothing for it, and it's a really big threat to both Sock and Throw, and a lot of things. So I'm going to get a Wish off here, basically banking on, uh, 
the fact he either thinks I have Protect, or if I'm just picking on the Parahax. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks here, because I can't really do much, and I kind of want to get Rocks up. And he goes for the Trick Room again, and I'm like, yes, now I am faster. Now I can flinch him to death, hopefully, and that will be a good game. So, for this guy, at least, not good game in general, but just want to take this guy out. So I'm going to go for the Iron Head. This is a bit stally. Uh, I wanted to speed it up, but I forgot to, which is really nuts. Uh, this battle isn't particularly long, I don't think. Uh, it's like 12 minutes, or a few minutes, actually. Uh, usually faster than most of my videos. But this was actually a long battle. It was like 52 turns, I think. Which is usually a lot for me, actually. I don't really get that many turns in a battle. So yeah, I'm going to just keep Iron Heading here. really can't do much, and I don't want to switch out and take a T-Bolt. Nothing I have... Like is immune and uh, yeah, don't really want to do it. So I'm just gonna keep on. Uh, but I am gonna get paralyzed here. It's like gonna set the trick room, and I'm like, no, no, sir, no, just stop this. Stop all of your shenanigans and all your ridiculous things that is going on. But I'm at full health, so I think I could take a T bolt. Uh, I am max special defense, which is kind of a surprising. All of his Pokemon are doing way more damage than I actually thought they would. For the EV spread he said they had, I just, it just felt like too much. I was just like, wow, I don't, I'm surprised I'm not dying all the time. Uh, or taking these hits better. But I mean, the thing does have a decent amount of special attack, and it gets an SD quad. Which, I did not know the thing got an SD quad, which is actually kind of neat, because I would use that instead of a calm mindset, probably. Uh, so he's gonna go into Piccolo, and Piccolo's gonna faint from the rocks damage. So I send an UB, which I don't know who that is at all in Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball in general so he's going for the sword stance and it's going to be all weird and all weird so he's going for the drain punch here and it's going to basically do a lot but not kill me which is good uh, he's going to go for I think the shadow sneak or something like that no never mind but Give her the Dream Punch again, that's going to take me out, which is sad, sad indeed. Oh yeah, his Trick Room is still up, that's right. I was like, I should have been faster than him, I think. Glades aren't the fastest tool in the shed, but uh, I'm just going to get up a Dragon Dance here with my Companion Cube. Who doesn't love Companion Cube, honestly? So, I'm going to get really greedy here and try to outspeed everything on the team and basically sweep the rest of his team, because I need to basically do that to take out his, uh, what is it, Jirachi, I think? To even do anything to it. So yeah, he's going for the Ice Punch here, it does a lot to me, I'm like, I'm max physical defense, max HP, max everything, it's just crazy. So I'm going to go for the Shadow Claw here, or not Shadow Claw, Trigon Claw, he's going to take it out. So yeah, uh, this is a Sleep Talking Dragon Dance uh, with Dragon Claw, max defense, impish nature, max HP, Shell Gone, the uh, name Companion Cube. Because it looks like a companion cube to me. When I saw it, I was like, I need companion cube on my team. And yeah, so I switched in Bobby, which is this annoying Jirachi, and I was hoping I'd sleep talk a, uh, basically a something. But I get another Dragon Dance. I'm plus four, so I thought that I could outspeed everything now, but apparently I can't. Uh, I need to get one up, really. So I'm gonna rest off here, it's just stupid. He's going to go for the Doom Desire, and I think I'm just going to wake up and go for the Dragon Claw here to basically hurt something, which it turns out to be his Majin Buu, and plus four still won't kill this thing, I'm pretty sure, so it is definitely max defense, uh, which is really, really too much, because uh, he lives with a smidgen of HP, and that just disappoints me entirely. So yeah, I'm going to take the Doom Desire attack, and I don't know if that's going to kill me or not. No, it doesn't. Switch in Shinron. I'm plus four now. I thought I might be able to outspeed a, even a Scarfed uh, Hiram, but it, apparently it's Tim in nature, and that's going to take me out, which is uh, just none, none, none good. So I'm going to go into Peabody. He still outspeeds me. Uh, I know he's definitely Scarfed, and I'm Scarfed too. Uh, should have done counts on stuff beforehand because that's going to take out that that uh, Kirim Shinron. Which is, makes sense, I guess. Shinron's a dragon, and he looks like a dragon. 
don't really know what I would use for that, but eh, I don't know. I'm not going to judge. So I'm going to switch in Wheatley. I'm going to trace the Serene Grace. And pretty much, this is his last Pokemon. And this is where the rest of the game just falls apart. And uh, I'm just going to spoilers it for you guys. I lose. And uh, just watch the end of this unfold. I'm done narrating pretty much. There's nothing really to talk about. It's just really hexy at the end. And I, I'm i 5-2 right now. I, it's, I, I have 5 or 4 Pokemon left, I think. And he has one Pokemon, and I can't take it out. It's just sad. So yeah, uh, enjoy. And uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and check out his channel. It's going to be in the description below. Forgot to mention that. And yeah, enjoy. Peace, guys.